didn't think that one through. Hey y'all, it's time for another Instant Pot adventure. Today I want to try out some pot in pot cooking. I want to make some mashed rutabaga and I want to make some little miniature meat loaves. I don't really know how that's going to work out. I'm going to try and make mini meat loaves as well as making some mashed rutabaga. I have a video where I've shown you rutabaga as a side dish in pre in um in a collaboration before. I'll make sure to link that in the i cards. And um I just want to try out something different in the instant pot. I have to be honest. I was very resistant to instant pot before I actually bought one and we've only owned the thing for about a little less than 2 weeks, right around 2 weeks maybe and I've already used it more than two dozen times. I don't know what I was waiting for. So I am going to get you set up so we can try out making rutabagas and mini meatloaves all in one. You all right back there, ma'am? You had to help cook, is that right? <laughs> You have to help cook. All right, changing things up a bit because little Miss Ma'am, this little, yeah, this one back here has decided that she's not content to sit in the high chair. So we're gonna get back to work here, see if this angle is all right. I started peeling up my rutabaga before I decided to start filming and decided, oh, what am I doing? So anyway, I've got my rutabaga all cut up here and what I'm trying to decide is how I want to cook my um, my mini meatloaves along with my rutabaga and I don't know I, my I want to be able to put the rutabaga on the bottom with water so they can steam and put the meatloaves on top so they can cook in a pan but I'm not sure I don't have ex <laughs> You're, you're funny back there, miss. I don't have the exact tools that I want to be able to use. I I think I might want to get some of those little like egg trivets that come in like a two pack where you can do two layers of eggs and be able to use and um, like the taller one to be able to set on top as a trivet, like have my chopped up rutabaga here and have that in the bottom and then nestle that taller trivet in it. All that to say, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna go about this. I think I might use my little two pot thingy here and maybe put some rutabaga in the bottom one and then do my mini meatloaves in the top one. We're gonna work this out. I've got a bunch of silicone cups that I've had for um, a little, ah, you're poking mama in the back that I've had for a little while, and I wonder how many of these I can fit. So I'm gonna see how many of these I can fit into my container here. I wonder if it's oven safe, it's Instant Pot safe. What do I have that is oven safe? And the other thing is, is are these rutabaga gonna steam in this thing? tall there's some some engineering happening here you all right back there ma'am <laughs> so I've put my rutabaga in here I need my trivet that's what I need in goes the trivet but here's my thing like if I put these in here I've got water in here with my rutabaga are they going to steam with it being sealed on top is that gonna work? And I don't really wanna waste ingredients because that would be tragic, actually. Hmm. Tell you what, I'm gonna sit on it. I'm gonna think about it for a little while while I make up my meatloaf mixture.
Okay, I think what I'm actually gonna choose to do is just rest this on top of the rutabaga. Okay, so Instant Pot, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push pressure cook and I think I'm going to go for 22 minutes. See what that does. My um, valve is on, on um, ceiling and yeah, here we go. I'm gonna hope that doing that for 22 minutes, sorry, I'm gonna bounce. That's really obnoxious, I know but she's over here just not having it. Um, I'm gonna hope that that 22 minutes cooks the meat all the way through. I'm gonna hope that those rutabaga are all the way cooked and like soft so that I can mash them up. And um, we shall see. I, I hope this works, but I'm fearful it won't. <laughs> all right, in the meantime, while the Instant Pot is coming up to pressure and my meat loaves and my rutabagas are cooking, I'm gonna get this kitchen tidied up. Baby, do it. All right, can I put you on my back so Mama can do dishes? She's my lovey dovey. All right. Now that Lauren is on my back, I can actually do dishes. <laughs> Alrighty, we're at zero minutes on my timer. I'm going to let this natural pressure release for about 10 minutes and see where we're at. Okay, we're at 11 minutes of natural pressure release slash keep warm mode, and I'm going to go ahead and release my pressure carefully. Also, I decided to use my time to cut up some cantaloupe here. All right, y'all. It smells really good in here and my pressure has fully released, so we are going to check it out. Ooh, hot. All right, all right. They're looking sickly, but all right. <laughs> At least they look cooked through. Oh, the rutabaga is really soft. That's a good sign. Meat is fully cooked. Um, I think I'm gonna have to like drain those though. So here we have our rutabaga all cooked up, super soft. And I wanna drain out some of that liquid and save it in case I need it, but I don't think I'm gonna need that much liquid to be able to um, mash this rutabaga.
Okay, real talk. I'm very pleased with how my mashed rutabaga came out. It's really, really nice and soft. It feels like mashed potatoes. Um, obviously, it's a little more watery because I didn't drain all the water. Um, but I did add probably two ounces of cream cheese, a little salt, a little pepper. That's gonna be delicious. But what I'm not so pleased with are the meatballs. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn my Instant Pot onto saute. And my whole goal with this particular meal is that I only wanna use one appliance, one thing. I'm going to grab those meat, uh, mini meatloaves and see if I can't brown them up a bit in here on saute mode. So the long and the short of it, um, I've pulled out those mini meatloaves out of the Instant Pot where it was sauteing. I've got them over here on my counter. Um, and I've also decided that I'm gonna add some frozen green beans and I'm gonna pour a little bit of, um, you know, I just, I just keep adding stuff. I just keep adding things. All right, here is my plate. So I've got three of those mini meatloaves, which basically turned out to be large meatballs. I put on some just Dijon mustard, which is zero carbs. I've got those green beans that I sauteed, and I've got this mashed rutabaga. The mashed rutabaga is delicious. I might have swiped a bite. <laughs> Um, I haven't tried out the mini meatloaves yet and I haven't tried out my green beans yet and my lighting is real bad y'all I'm so sorry, but I I've learned some things here. I don't know that I will do a meatloaf in the instant pot again <laughs> And here's why I prefer my meatloaf. I don't first of all, I don't like meat loaf. I don't like giant loaf of meat. That's not my thing. I prefer the um, the mini meat loaves mainly because they get crusty all around. Instead of having like just this tiny little sliver of the crustiness, it's like, you know, a cupcake of meat. I can handle a cupcake of meat. And I knew going into making it in the Instant Pot that it was likely to not um, turn out the way I wanted it to. So I had two goals in mind with the meatloaves. I wanted them to not be mushy or mealy and I didn't want them to be dry. And my gut told me that I was not gonna get dry meatloaf in the Instant Pot while steaming vegetables. So I felt pretty confident in that, um, on that, aspect and then I um, the only thing was I didn't I don't know if it's mealy yet or not so we'll have to cut one open and try it out all right we're gonna give these meatloaves a try see what happened okay so the meatloaf it's not mealy it's well done as far as like it's like done well not overcooked but it's done <laughs> and um yeah i'm i'm very impressed it's not totally dried out i was a little concerned with using the saute function i was concerned that might dry it out a little bit mm. green beans are good let's see what lauren thinks <laughs> lauren was eating a piece of raw rutabaga What do you think of that, miss? Oh, I think somebody likes roasted rutabaga, or mashed rutabaga. <laughs> yeah. Well, there we have it. Thank you so much for joining me on my second episode of Instant Pot Adventures, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.